Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be doing a back to school video for you. Today I have filmed a get ready with me for school or in my case I go to uni but it's kind of the same thing. So I'm going to be showing you firstly a makeup look which is super easy, super pretty and natural for school and also I have used all drugstore products so it's a lot more affordable. I've also included my go-to hairstyle for when I go to school or uni, I don't really know what to say in this video. And then also to finish off this video I have shown you three outfits which I always wear when I go to uni. These are like my go-to outfits, they are so easy to recreate in style. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have things similar in your wardrobe. If not, all the stuff which I've shown is from super affordable shops like H&M and Primark. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it's helpful for you all going back to school. Let me know what you think in the comment section, give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And I will get in to the video now. Let's go. So to start off, I'm gonna prime my face using the Maybelline Baby Skin. I've been using this recently a ton and I love how well it makes my foundation stay. So I'm starting off with this. And then I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Again, I love this foundation and it has such an amazing coverage and finish for a drugstore price. So I'm just popping that all over my face using a beauty blender. Then for concealer I'm going to be taking the Eraser Under Eye Concealer from Maybelline and this has again an amazing coverage, it's not too heavy for school and it does last really well on your skin so I'm just popping that on my under eyes and also on my chin and forehead to give us a bit of highlight. Then to settle that I'm just taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in the translucent shade so it's not adding any more colour to my face, it's just simply making sure that my foundation lasts all day. For a little bit of contour I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Master Sculpt. I absolutely love this little combination of contour and highlight so I'm just popping this on the usual contour areas. I love the colour of this shade, it's super natural and very wearable on an everyday basis. Then for blusher I'm going to be taking one by Rimmel, I believe this is in a corally shade but I will write the exact name of it down in the description box but I'm just popping this on my cheeks and again this shade is just perfect for everyday wear, I absolutely love this shade. And then for a bit of highlight of course I can't forget my highlights, I'm going to be taking the sleek highlighting palette and taking the golden one and popping it on my cheekbones just using my little Morphe highlighting brush. Then for my eyes I'm going to be keeping it super super simple and I'm firstly taking the highlight portion of the Master Sculpt and popping that all over my lid and then using the blusher I'm going to be using this as a transition shade. I like using my blusher instead of a contour brown shade just because I love pinky warm tones so I love using my blusher. And then to brighten up my eyes, I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. Any white eyeliner will just brighten up your eyes and make such a difference when you're going to school. And then I'm just adding a little bit of mascara. This is the Lash Sensational from Maybelline and I'm just popping that on my eyes to finish up the eye look. And then also I have to do my eyebrows. I always reach for this pencil by Lottie. I love using eyebrow pencils in my everyday makeup routine because they're so easy to use, so quick to use, and they give you a really nice natural looking eyebrow. This one is in the shade Light. And then to set my eyebrows I'm just taking this brow gel from Rimmel and just brushing that across my eyebrows to make sure they stay in place. And then finally to finish off I always use my Maybelline Baby Lips. This is in the nude shade and I love this shade so so much. So this is the finished completed makeup look. 
Moving on to hair, honestly, sometimes I usually just leave my hair in a bun, so you could call this hairstyle one, but I'm gonna be showing you something a little bit more interesting because a bun is maybe a little bit too basic. So I'm firstly just brushing out my hair using my Tangle Teaser. And then I'm going to be sectioning off my hair into a middle parting, whatever you feel suits you best, go for that. And then I'm just going to use my fingers and pull my hair into a half up, half down ponytail type hairstyle. And then I always pull out bits to the front. And this is my go-to hairstyle for when I'm going to uni. It gets your hair off your face but it looks super cute and I just love it. Moving on to the outfits, outfit number one is this one here. I'm just wearing a blue denim shirt with a white vest underneath. I sometimes tie these shirts around my waist if I get too warm. I'm wearing black high-waisted jeans and black old school vans. And this outfit I wear on a regular basis. It's so simple, so easy to just throw on, but I don't feel like it looks too bad. Moving on to my second outfit, it is pretty similar to the first one. I'm basically just starting off with my jeans and a white vest and then I'm chucking a jumper on over the top. This jumper is from H&M. I would recommend grabbing a bunch of jumpers from H&M because they have really good jumpers and they're so easy to style. And again, I've got my Vans on and this is outfit number two. So outfit number three, I have changed my top. I love wearing loose baggy slouchy t-shirts. This one which I'm wearing is from ASOS, so head over to ASOS, grab yourself a bumper pack of loose t-shirts like this because they're so easy to style. And also the jacket which I've got on is from Naked. I love little jackets like this because it just adds a little extra edge to your outfits. So this is completed outfit number three. All the outfit details will be in the description box if you're wondering where anything is from. It will all be in the description. So that is the finished makeup, hair and three outfits which I had to show you. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you guys going back to school. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and found it helpful and if you want to let me know what you think in the comments then feel free to do so. If you haven't already then I would love it if you subscribed and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys! When I'm out, so try